Welcome to NetIQ video demonstration. In this video, you will learn about configuring multi-factor authentication on the OpenVPN. Let us now look into the prerequisites required for configuring the multi-factor authentication on the OpenVPN Radius client. Ensure that OpenVPN is installed. Ensure that Advanced Authentication version 6.2 is installed. Let us now look into the authentication flow. Authentication is initiated at the OpenVPN client. The OpenVPN client contacts the OpenVPN server. The OpenVPN server then contacts the Advanced Authentication server. The OpenVPN server here acts as the Radius client. Advanced Authentication fetches the details from the LDAP repository. Advanced Authentication acts as a Radius server. Advanced Authentication passes the details to the client. The multi-factor authentication is done on the OpenVPN client. To configure the Advanced Authentication integration with OpenVPN, you must perform the following configurations. Configure the Advanced Authentication Radius event on the Advanced Authentication Administration Portal. Configure the OpenVPN appliance. Let us now look on how to configure the RADIUS event on the Advanced Authentication Administration Portal. Log in to the Advanced Authentication Administration Portal as an administrator. Specify your password. Create the chains for the multi-factor authentication. Select one or more chains for the authentication. I am creating the LDAP Plus smartphone chain for this illustration. As a note, ensure that the chain always starts with the LDAP password method followed by any other second factor method. Also ensure that you assign the chains to the appropriate group of users. Here in this demo, I have assigned the LDAP plus smartphone chain to all users group. In the events section, go to the radius event. Select the chain you have created for the authentication. I am selecting the LDAP plus smartphone chain for this demonstration. Now add the client. Specify the IP address of the OpenVPN server and specify the name of the server. Specify a secret and confirm it. Save the configurations. Specify the NAS ID. This is an optional step. Save the RADIUS event. The RADIUS event has been saved. After configuring the RADIUS event, let us now look on how to configure the OpenVPN server. Log in to the OpenVPN server with your administrator credentials. Select the RADIUS authentication. Ensure that PAP authentication has been selected. Now. Specify the IP address of the Advanced Authentication Server. Specify the secret. This secret must match with the secret 
that the administrator has configured in the RageKiss server event of Advanced Authentication Administration Portal. Ensure that the ports are configured. Save the settings. Let us now look on how to enroll and test multi-factor authentication on the self-service portal of advanced authentication. In this demonstration, I am enrolling and testing the smartphone method. Log in to the advanced authentication self-service portal as a user. Here, I am logging in as Paul Jones. Specify the LDAP password. Click the smartphone method in the Add Authenticator section. Specify the details and click Save. You will see a QR code on your screen. Now open your NetIQ smartphone app on the phone. Scan the QR code. After the QR code has been captured, specify the details to save the authenticator. The smartphone method is now enrolled. Let us now test the smartphone method. Click the enrolled smartphone method. Click test. A push notification is sent to your smartphone app. Unlock the app and accept the request in the Authentication Request tab of the app. Authenticator has passed the test. After performing the configurations and enrollment, let me take you through on how to perform multi-factor authentication on the OpenVPN client. Open the OpenVPN client in the system tray. Specify the OpenVPN server IP address. Specify the username along with the repository name. In this demonstration, Paul Jones is the user who is in the repository micro. Specify the password. The push notification is sent to your smartphone. Accept the request. You have been authenticated with the multi-factor authentication on the OpenVPN client. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.